I will tell you something extempore about <coughs> look at me, I am children. This is not a precise description or academic talk on leukemia. This is just my experience about leukemia in my practice or what I have done, what I have encountered. I have done six months residency in Tata Cancer Hospital in pediatric oncology ward. But that was way back in 1975. That does not qualify me to treat leukemia. Leukemia management in 75, 70s and leukemia management today is totally different. Leukemia has to be managed by hematologist. When hematologists were not there, we were the final answer for anything happens to the child. So we had to manage. I have managed on my own few leukemias. But hematologist started coming on the stage and once they arrived, I handed all my 100% management to hematologist. But our role as a pediatrician, general pediatrician, in leukemia, we should know it well. We are the first person to suspect leukemia. We are the first person to diagnose leukemia. Generally, hematologist comes afterward on the scene. So we have to know and have expertise on suspicion and confirmatory diagnosis. Another role a pediatrician has to play is many a times chemotherapy designed by hematologist is not possible to be delivered at a higher center and we can as pediatricians as a, uh, secondary or primary care level of pediatric service We can follow the orders, the chemotherapy design or prescribed by a hematologist. We can give it in our hospital. And in other fields also. Now the endocrinology has come, nephrology has come, neurology has come, genetics has come. Problem today is sending a child for leukemia to a hematologist does not mean handover of the whole baby. The hematological management part is as per advice of the hematologist. But other parts of pediatric care are to be carried out by penetration. 
even for renal problems, even for hepatic problems, even for CNS problems, genetic problems, we refer to a super specialist. Specifically for that problem. But other child care, immunization, diet, nutrition, education, all aspects of general pediatrics. So the pediatrician should be, should have the pivotal role. The basic doctor of the child should be a parent with the assistance of hematologist under his guidance as a teamwork we should manage our patients. Mostly this doesn't happen. Once it is referred to a higher center, tertiary care center, People just forget us. And then hematology part is managed well, but other parts of pediatric care are grossly neglected. Because that doesn't suppose child has juvenile diabetes. You refer him to a diabetologist, endocrinologist. Endocrinologist will look after his endocrine part. But he is not equipped with other pediatric aspects. And we have to make aware the parents, I am sending you to this person for this purpose. With his advice, you have to come to me and I will be the basic doctor of your child. Still very few people comply. That is the problem, but we have to do our job. Why I am telling you this is suspicion of a child having leukemia. Most common presentation is anemia. Anemia with hepatosplenomegaly. Anemia with hepatosplenomegaly with particular hemorrhages or bleeding. Anemia with hepatosplenomegaly with or without bleeding and recurrent infections. Pyda. Abscess. Lymphadenopathy. And depending on Stage of progression, signs and symptoms will differ. But anemia, there are so many causes. Anemia with hepatosplenomegaly, number of causes are reduced, differential diagnosis is reduced. Anemia with hepatosplenomegaly and particular hemorrhage or hemorrhage anywhere, still the differential diagnosis is narrow. Anemia with hepatosplenomegaly with or without hemorrhages and lymphadenopathy and recurrent infections. Lymphadenopathy is added. 
part of the lymphadenopathy is due to extramedullary hematopoiesis in leukemia. Signs and symptoms of anemia depending on severity, mild moderate to CCF. Signs and symptoms indicating bone marrow are absent in all other differential diagnosis. For example, purpura, an auction limber. You would have bone tenderness. For example, Differential diagnosis is a plastic anemia. You want your bone tenderness. A plastic anemia will not have limb adenopathy. But all other features are common. But there is no limb adenopathy. Leukemia will have. I have seen one month, one and a half month old leukemia. Since birth child was brought to me as a normal child. And rapidly within one and a half months, child was becoming anemic. And there was a and the hepatosplenomegaly was becoming very large. I was alarmed. Generally, my patients, when they come to me as newborn, they follow up every 15 days. My follow-up rate is very good. Probably because I interact with family and I tell them the importance of after 15 days what I expect, what I am going to see. After one month, what I am going to, why I am calling you after one month? I explain them. So they understand the importance of follow-up visit. So this child was uh, my regular child. And uh, within one, one and a half month, I, I started becoming nervous. Valor to bahut bad raha hai. Hepatos pneumogali, ye mahine mein itna bad gaya hai. I have never seen such this such thing. Job report kar ke lao. Ek lakh das hajar dobi bisi kar. Leukocytosis is the commonest first suspicion after you clinically suspect. Pehle to leukocytosis hota hai. But in older children, initially there can be leukopenia because commonest is acute lymphoid leukemia, so lymphoblasts are common. Lymphoblasts are larger in size and they block the capillaries and prevent the hematopoietic bone marrow cells to come into the circulation. And that's why initially there is leukopenia. Single dose of steroids will bring 2,000 counts to 1,20,000. Single dose of steroid has the capacity to bring WBC count from 2,3,000 to 1,20,000 in one or two days. Itna to confirmatory diagnosis leukemia ka hoi ni sakta 
it's not a mode of diagnosis definitely not giving steroid to diagnose is not never recommended but it is the observation so that we understand leukemia better people use steroids left and right for all filthy reasons without any indication that may bring out high WBC count. Difference in the, so the as in leukemia WBC count is high. If it is lymphatic Lymphoblastic leukemia, acute lymphatic leukemia, then WBC count with high with lymphocytes high. In myeloid leukemia, myeloid will be high. Myelocytes will be high. So you are looking at a peripheral smear till the time. Qualified pathologist comes in the picture. It is our responsibility. Once a qualified pathologist comes into the picture, he has the knowledge and expertise and experience to look at the microscope and see, tell what it is. Bone marrow. Even peripheral smear they can diagnose. We can also see ourselves. When I started, there was no pathologist in the town. Technicians were not expert. But responsibility was our pediatrician's responsibility. Decision making करना है उसको आई एन डिविजन से एनिमिया करके ट्रीटमेंट देते बैठोगे तो वैसे भी जान उस टाइम में तो मॉर्टेलिटी बहुत हाई थी एक्यूट लिम्पेटिक लिकेमिया वेरी बैड प्रोग्नोसिस एटी नाइन्टी परसेंट मॉर्टेलिटी थी फाइव ईयर मॉर्टेलिटी फाइव ईयर सर्वाइवल रेट अब तो 80-90 परसेंट तो क्यूर होते हैं हमारे टाइम में 80-90 परसेंट तो मरते थे ऑल द सीन हैज चेंज इन लुकेमिया इट इज ऑल ड्यू टू डिजिटलाइजेशन प्री डिजिटल वर्ल्ड एंड पोस्ट डिजिटल वर्ल्ड में ये सब फर्क पड़ा है डिजिटलाइजेशन के वजह से पहले हम क्लिनिशियंस थे और क्लिनिक मेरा क्लिनिकल जजमेंट मेरा ओपिनियन मेरा एक्सपीरियंस अब नहीं चलता बाद में माइक्रोस्कोप वाले आए वो माइक्रोस्कोप में सब समझता था बाद में इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप वाले आए इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप आने के बाद लुकेमिया की मैनेजमेंट बदल दी बी सेल है टी सेल है पहले तो लिम्बेटिक माइलस है एडिट्रोलिकेमिया भी रहता है बाद में बी सेल टी सेल आ गए With the advent of computerization, cytogenetic branch जो develop हुआ leukemia और genetics.
ज्यादा क्लियर होते गए ये री एडवांसेस होने के पहले हम सोचते थे ऊपर वाले की गलती है हम क्या कर सकते हैं कोशिश करेंगे जितनी होगी उतनी दुरुस्त करने की और एक प्रेजेंटेशन था माइल्ड फीवर विद इन मंथ और सो एनीमिया एंड स्किन फीवर एनीमिया लिनोमेगैली फ्यू डेज टू फ्यू वीक्स हम सस्पेक्ट करेंगे मलेरिया एमपी के लिए भेजा तो एमपी पॉजिटिव आता ही नहीं अनलेस इट इज डन इन राइट टाइम वेन देर आर दे आर इन द आरबीसीज दे आर रिलीज इन द सर्कुलेशन सीजॉन्स आर रिलीज इन द सर्कुलेशन सो एम पी पॉजिटिव निगेटिव की सेंसिटिविटी स्पेसिफिसिटी स्पेसिफिटी से ज्यादा है सेंसिटिविटी उतनी नहीं है तो इंपेरिकल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ क्लोरोक्विट वॉज द नेक्स्ट मैनेजमेंट नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू क्लोरोक्विन सो इट इज नॉट मलेरिया सो इन्वेस्टिगेशन इन्वेस्टिगेशन भी कुछ पेशेंट का नॉर्मल रहता है हिमोग्राम नॉर्मल आता है लेकिन हाई इंडेक्स ऑफ सस्पिशन होगा तो बोन मैरो इज द आंसर यू शुड नॉट रिलाय ऑन रेफरेंस मेयर इन अ डाउटफुल केस बोन मैरो पैथोलॉजिस्ट ने ही करना है ऐसा कोई नहीं रिटर्न रूल नहीं है हम बोन मैरो करके सैंपल भेज सकते हैं पैथोलॉजिस्ट के पास मेरे तो लाइफ में मेरा सब बोन मैरो मैंने मेरे किया एक भी बोन मैरो मैंने पैथोलॉजिस्ट को नहीं बोला है बोन मैरो सैंपल करके स्लाइड उसके पास भेजना है हिस्ट्री बराबर भेजना है क्लिनिकल हिस्ट्री रिटर्न क्लिनिकल हिस्ट्री भेजना है मेरा क्या हो गया मैं जरा हिस्ट्री वगैरह करेक्ट लिखता हूं नोट्स मेरा नोट्स लोग टेबल के नीचे दबा के रखते पेशेंट के पास देते ही नहीं बाद में पढ़ते रहते टू लर्न लेकिन पेशेंट का कितना नुकसान होता है उन्होंने झेराउस निकाल के अपने पास में रख दिया रख दिया उन्होंने मेरा नोट्स मेरा नोट्स तो सब डिटेल लिखा हुआ रहता है इवेल्युएशन डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस सब मैं सिस्टमेटिक काम करता हूं तो मेरा नोट लोग छुपा के रखते हैं बाद में पढ़ेगा देखने के लिए <laughs> लेकिन वो पेशेंट का नुकसान होता है अब तो स्टीरॉइड्स रेमिशन एंटी मेटाबोलाइट ल्यूकेमिया इज अ मैलिग्नेंसी मैलिग्नेंट सेल लूजेस कैपेसिटी टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई हैव टू स्टॉप डिवाइडिंग नॉर्मली Normal cell understands. Now this is enough. I have to stop dividing. Malignant cell doesn't stop dividing. वो तो divide करते ही रहेगा जिंदगी चली जाए किसकी चली जाए मैं तो बढ़ते रहूंगा मैलिग्नेंट हो गया वो अतिरिक्त ही घुसते हैं तो वैसे घुस जाते हैं वो और अतिरिक्त ही बनाते रहते हैं अपने जैसे एजेंडा धारी पॉलिटिकल भाषा में बोले तो एजेंडा धारी अपने बनाते रहते तो अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल द कीमोथेरेपेटिक 
drugs because on prescription you may have to give sacrifice of life you may have to give dinorovirin we may have to give all all the drugs whenever you use any drug iv or anything orally you should know the pharmacology of it read pharmacology and then give the drug any time can comes to you for chemotherapy on prescription you read the literature literature padhe bagar nahi dena एक बार लिटरेचर पढ़ गए तो अपना कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल बढ़ जाता है आई नो वॉट आई एम डूइंग गिविंग एंड आई एम नॉट अफ्रेड ऑफ गिविंग इट आई नो द साइड इफेक्ट्स द अदर मॉडलिटीज अदर देन केमोथेरेपी रेडियोथेरेपी प्रॉग्नोस्टिक टेक्निक्स भी बढ़ गए अभी फ्रुक्टोज ऑप्टिक स्कैन जो बॉडी पार्ट में ज्यादा फ्रुक्टेज ऑप्ट होता है वहां पे मैलिगेंसी वो निगेटिव है तो मैलिगेंसी कंट्रोल है तो ऐसी है ये दुनिया ल्यूकेमिया की अब जेनेटिक्स साइटोजेनेटिक्स have become more important the classification of leukemia is also changing initially it was hematological classification then it becomes became immunological classification genetic classification so the classification also keeps on changing every 5 to 10 years so we have to be up to date about leukemia if you are managing patient today you have to have your knowledge of the day thank you